Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to this video on understanding multiple equilibria in economic models. In this video, we're going to talk about how multiple equilibria could be problematic for operationalizing the results that we get from economic models, and then illustrate that in the context of a simple solo model with setup costs. Let's go. So before we get started, let's go and remind ourselves why equilibrium is important in economics. We like equilibrium concepts because they act as vehicles for making sharp predictions regarding fluctuations in economic data through the use of comparative statics. An equilibrium concept in a model becomes a bit more difficult to use when we allow for multiple contradicting comparative statics. In this video, we're going to show how multiple equilibria can manifest itself in a solo model and with setup costs and how it could confuse the comparative statics which can be conducted. It should be noted that the contents of this video has nothing to say about the concept of multiple equilibria which occurs in applied game theory, which will be addressed in another video. So, this is what our solo model with setup costs goes and looks like. I just want to go and show visual for what it has here, where you have this gamma term, which is going to be really a input requirement that we go and have before production could even begin. Mathematically, we could go and write this model as follows, where we have our production function written kind of like this stone gary uh, type relationship where we have this gamma uh, input requirement and our law of motion which is pretty much just going to be unchanged just that we put in our production function which is going to look a little bit different um, but if you look at our steady state and that's going to be where k is equal to k prime k prime being the capital stock in the next period um, we're going to go and get this result and this allows for multiple positive roots that we go and have in this equation now to go and see where these equilibria are right for capital stocks we're going to see that this is where our savings curve right is going to go and intersect with our uh to capital depreciation line that's what we're going to have. So we're going to have a low equilibrium denoted by KL star and a higher equilibrium denoted by KH. And this is all brought into existence from the fact that there are setup costs. In this situation, the likelihood of occurrence of one equilibria over another depends on your initial capital stock that you go and have. So you could be either drawn to KH star or KL star, depending on what your initial capital stock is going to be so that's something that you want to go and keep in mind now this is where things get a little bit weird and where we really have issues with uh, multiple equilibria generally when we have a change in our depreciation rate Delta right we see a change in two of these equilibria for our low equilibria it actually goes and increases but our high equilibria goes and decreases we cannot say for certain how equilibrium capital stock will change in the steady state because really we don't actually observe what equilibrium we are starting within. The problem with this is that when we look at data, right, we could go and make incorrect statement regarding changes in our economic variables and how that could impact other variables. So this is really just a simple uh, illustration within under four minutes of why multiple equilibria could be a problem because it confuses these comparative statics as illustrated through this change in our depreciation rate. So I hope um, this is a simple enough example to go and show how this could be a problem and I hope this video was uh, helpful or entertaining at the very least. Thank you so much for watching this video. Take care.